God, we have asked you to bless the work of our hands and of our hearts and of our minds. We've asked you to enable us to be able to serve your church by the work that we've done together. And we've asked you to continue to bless our scholarship and our teaching and our learning, that we might become people who not only contribute to the church through our research and our writing, but through our very lives. And so we give you thanks on this day where we celebrate the accomplishment of these students these new doctors of the church, new teachers for the sake of the work of the gospel in the world. We give you thanks for your presence in our lives. We are grateful. And as we celebrate today, may we be mindful that you are the one who is always before us, always leading us forward. That you are the one in whom we live and move and have our being. That you are the one, and it is your presence that makes the difference. We give all praise and glory and thanks to you. Amen. Let's join in singing together.
back home, you will preach and witness and proclaim good news. Back home, you will care and shepherd. Back home, you will lead and encourage new imaginations. Back home, you will offer counsel and hospitality. Back home, you will work to see God's mission expand in the places where God has placed you. Back home, you will shine the light on injustice and work to make the world right in Jesus' name. And you'll do this in season, and you'll do this out of season. Because this is the calling of the Lord upon your heart. The Lord has grabbed you, and this is what you must do. You will serve faithfully, hoping for great fruitfulness. You'll be aware of the Lord's presence and the power of the Spirit upon your life. And so you'll go home, and you do this day after day after day, and never give up. In times of abundance and times of scarcity, never give up. When you have lots of energy, and when you are so tired and fatigued, never give up. When you enjoy the noise and the acclamations of the crowd, and when you feel so very alone, never give up. When you find favor with others in what you do, and when you experience conflict because of what you do, never give up. When you are hopeful, and when you are in despair, never give up. So the work is not easy. It's the best life there is. Jesus Christ is the one who calls you. He is the one who strengthens you. He is the one who gives you joy. So there we go. From all of us, congratulations this day for the good work that you have done and the good work that you will do in the future because of this degree conferred upon you. May the Lord continue to grant you the mind of a scholar faithfully handling the word of God. May the Lord give you the heart of a child before the Father and before others. And may the Lord give you the skin of a rhinoceros and you know why you do that as well. God bless you. We celebrate you. Never give up. In the name of Jesus. In chapter 4, there...